And what I can see of the fire when I was driving on this road is it's pushing directly this way. It's, and this is all all laid down. I mean, if they need, if they start flanking it with tankers and stuff and putting dozers on that. It's a piece of cake right now. This, this was really cooking right here. This was not very quite so, Yeah, what they're talking about, the big issue is this, this getting out here and then the wind bringing Well, you know, the sad, the sad reality is, is where were we on the map yesterday? We were... Just so you know, transports can get almost, uh, we can get right below this road here and then we can walk up this way and it's half the distance. So you can, transport's coming in from? We can get, we can get in, we can take uh, the county line road to this turn off right mm -hmm. here and then we can walk the dozers up to here, it's about four miles up to here and then cut back across this way if they want to go that way as opposed to having to walk the tractors right. all the way back around. The sad reality is we were parked right down here. Our transport came down here. Well, let me go get I, let me go get branch one a shout and see if I can get a hold of him. I mean, our main our main concern is to keep the dozers out of the drainages. Right, right. and then and they know that. Okay. Right. Well we're gonna have to cut down into the drainages but we'll, we'll We'll crew out the last, you know, we'll, we can always crew out the last, especially before the riparian area, we can definitely crew that out. Yeah. You know, unless things get really bad and, yeah. you know, we're trying to cut off low piece, but that's pretty unlikely to happen. But yeah, they're all familiar. I'm familiar with your concerns with staying out of the approaches to the creeks and roads and what can be rehabbed and whatnot. So, okay. I will see if you guys hang with these guys and see if they have a, a guy who, everything moved a lot last night. Yeah. And that's why we're still trying to work out where we're going with the Okay. Nope. These two strike teams should show up and they, they know, your side of the north and, side. Just be and then the, the, north side uh, the two water tenants, is that correct? and give me a, and make sure they give me a holler when the they get here. I'm going to go take a look. From County Line uh, Road down through Oros to the Creek, that red uh, creek here is all branch one. So we're, yeah, so, so we're just sitting right here, and this isn't exactly a perfect safety zone right now, but it could be right quick, so, so um, what, I, what I may do is if we can find another spot up a little closer that's a good safety zone, um, with the way this thing can whip through here, I want to stay, I don't want to have all of us in transit without knowing where we're going. Coming out from the ramp to find a spot off the road. Night coffee. All 46 Charlie engines get to the wide spot through the road. Right, that's right. Open the door over there. find a shack channel on what they're working. Yeah, I'm not sure.
check in about every hour or so and just go, hey, everything's hunky-dory, I'd really appreciate it, just so I know that everything's good. Sure. If you can have somebody do weather, because I just did weather without 28%, so if, when you do the check-in, maybe if you could just give me a shout so everybody hears that. Thank <laughs> you.